Hi everybody, here we are again, Pint of Gold. Very nice, but not here to talk about that obviously. Test test glasses out again. It's time to check out Steve Molson's Marks and Spencer's Pale Ale. 6.6% brewed 24th of the 1st 2020 so that's well over a year old it's 6th of the 6th 11th of the 6th 2021 so it's um it's nearly 18 months old isn't it the bottle is quite tight it's not Marks and Spencer's is it it's probably what Mosaic and Simcoe Pale Ale guessing there possibly two hops or maybe Munich and Simcoe being the molten and the hop I'm sure probably it's probably the hops right we're not mess about it's been out of the fridge for about 55 minutes quite a hiss there yeah smells like beer not mess about too much I should have taken the glasses off first because I can't see what I'm doing labels out and all that malarkey Stop there. There's crud coming up. That is very similar colour to the Nevada, Sierra Nevada, that I reviewed the other night. Yeah, pretty much crystal clear. We're getting a, it's still a bit cold. Getting a bit of fog on the glass. But it's more highly carbonated than the Sierra Nevada. So, as you can see, it's wanging bubbles up. Right, let's. Go in for a bit of a snort. Smells very similar to the uh, Sierra Nevada as well. Yeah, it smells like beer. Now we're getting that again. It's the it's a multi note. An earthy malty note, I'd say. That stuff that beer smells like. Right, let's not mess about too much. Yeah, I think that's mosaic. I tried a a mosaic beer at the Walmer Bridge Beer Festival. I might put it in one of the end cards. Um, I wasn't a huge fan. But that's better. Probably completely wrong now, probably no mosaic in it whatsoever. Right, so let's concentrate. Malt first, see what we can pick up. Pale malt, obviously. Um, there is a 
almost a nutty flavour that. The hops are slightly overpowering the malts, I'd say. But there's a back end mild nutty flavour a bit like I was going to say sort of hazelnut I'm going to have to stop swigging it 6.6% .6 That is very nice. Again, it's got that slight sort of pinky tone to it. That's that's what when you when you first start looking at it, you think, oh, there's a bit of a pinkiness. It's more of an amber. When you hold it up to the light, it's just it's just mm, mm, dark amber. Yeah, so there's, it's not heavy on the malt flavour. There's a, a lingering biscuity nutty note. Um, yeah, so right, so we'll. Try the bitter in next. Right, concentrating on bittering. There's a mid mild bittering, and that's about it. It's sort of like it's a, a little bit of a tiny bit of sweetness up front. Just a tiny bit, and then it sort of bitters off to the edges, if you know what I mean. But most of it is coming from most of the flavour. I'd say is coming from the um, the hops. So what we get in there? An explosion of flavours, we'll say. There's like. Tininess, definitely some um, earthiness going on, and spiciness up front. That's very nice. It was like, yeah. Definitely that mosaic flavour, which I wasn't keen on in the beer that I tried at Waldman Bridge Beer Festival. Don't know why I'm pointing up there. It won't be up there. Towards the end, if I, if I post it. But I think they'd whacked a lot more in. That is... I might have to rethink my ideas about uh, mosaic. Perhaps just... Yeah, use mosaic, but don't stick 500 grams in of something ridiculous. I don't know what they stuck in it. Yeah, so there's right up front, it's sort of like sweety, earthy, um, and a pininess going on. And um, like a pale malt, it's not. I wouldn't say it's crystal malt. You're not really getting enough toffiness for crystal malt flavours, but there's 
definitely maltiness going on. And beer should be a maltiness going on. Right, I think I've probably rambled enough. Very nice beer that, Steve. Thank you very much for sending it. And that is the last one when it finally gets posted. Right, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye. Dear, well we just got that in.